Although Un Yal and Un Yu successfully kept Yi Chan from the accident, while trying to help Un Yal, Yi Chan got into a car accident. This made Un Yal sad because he was afraid that his dad would lose his hearing because of him. When Yi Chan was hospitalized, Un Yal hoped that Yi Chan would regain consciousness. While waiting for Yi Chan, Un Yal would hear the phone ringing, indicating a call from the master. The master told Un Yal that his time travel was only a day from returning to the present, which is tomorrow. So, he asked him to wrap up his journey and come to the place where he arrived so he could return. However, looking at Yi Chan's condition, Un Yal couldn't decide to leave Yi Chan behind like that. The master then informed Un Yal of the consequences if he decided to stay. Like the master had told Un Yu before, there was only one chance to go back, and his life in 2023 would disappear. Meanwhile, Un Yu also received a call from the master. She was upset about having to say goodbye to others. At the hospital, Un Yu let Un Yal know about what the master had told her. However, Un Yal was focused on Yi Chan, as he wanted to find a person responsible for Yi Chan's condition. Un Yu tried to convince Un Yal to return believing that every effort of his would change the situation for the better. But Un Yal still couldn't leave Yi Chan like that. Until he finally sees that Yi Chan has woken up. However, observing Yi Chan's reaction to Un Yal's touch, it seems like Yi Chan may lose his hearing. Using sign language, Yi Chan reassures Un Yal that it's fine, emphasizing that it isn't Un Yal's fault and that everything happened because of an accident. Yi Chan urges Un Yal to go and not look back, as he's already aware that Un Yal is planning to return to his family. Listening to Yi Chan and Un Yu, Un Yal decided to return. He had already packed his stuff and went to find Un Yu, so they wouldn't miss their only chance. While waiting for the two moons to show up, Un Yal listened to the cassette tape that Yi Chan had brought with him on the day of the accident, crying as he heard the message Yi Chan had left for him. However, as Un Yu told him, it seems Un Yal will decide to return to the present after witnessing what happened to Chung Ah and Jimmy's fate. Jimmy will not have a comfortable life, as Gun Yong will report her for what she has done. At the same time, Gun Yong is enjoying a meal with Chung Ah. Following Yi Chan's advice, Gun Yong is putting effort into communicating with Chung Ah using the sign language book that Yi Chan gave him. So, he believes that his father will somehow find his own happy ending. Despite that, in the new pre-release for the finale, what Yi Chan and Un Yal hoped for will come true. It was shown that Yi Chan has been accepted to the college with Un Yal beside him, enjoying his time as a freshman. While in class, Yi Chan mentioned that he kept his promise with Un Yal. Yi Chan, along with Un Yal and his team members, also won a band award together under the name of Watermelon Sugar. He also mentioned that they can win as long as they don't give up. As he had hoped for, Yi Chan is also able to graduate, fulfilling his grandma's wish. He also thanks her for raising him. On his graduation day, Un Yu, with long hair, is also there to take his graduation picture with Chu Nga and the band members. However, everything seems unreal as Yi Chan's college acceptance is in 1997, which means Un Yal and Un Yu decided not to go back to the present. Especially since we know that Sek Young has returned, it means Un Yu can't live there by pretending to use her mother's identity. There is a chance that this is just Yi Chan's imagination, as he is still asleep after the accident, hoping for Un Yal and Un Yu not to go back. He mentioned before that his grandma would be very sad when they all leave, so it might be him who is truly sad about Un Yal and Un Yu leaving him. Nevertheless, the only wish is for everyone to get their happy ending. Stay tuned for the finale in today's episode where the story will finally unfold, revealing whether Un Yal has successfully kept Yi Chan from losing his hearing. Although it's certain that Yi Chan, as a father, will definitely change when Un Yal returns to the present. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.